Hi guys, kamusta? So today, we're going to unbox one of my essential gears in live streaming. This. So before natin i-unbox yung uh, bago nating uh, essential gear sa live streaming, gusto mo nang uh, ipakita sa inyo yung uh, old gaming headset ko which I've been using for uh, more than a year na. So medyo nasira na siya, um, especially yung mic niya hindi na nagpo-function. Uh, RGB niya, RGB lights, hindi na rin umiilaw. Yung, Natirang function na lang talaga is yung uh, sa um, uh, earphones. So, kung makikita nyo, medyo kupas na rin yung ear, earphones niya. Earphones. Yun. Or ear caps. Yun ba yung technical term? Tawag doon yun. Kung makikita nyo. Um... So yun, ika nga, it has served its uh, purpose well. More than a year ito naman siya din nagamit. And then, uh, pinabahan ko naman siya. And uh, hindi siya gaano kamahal actually. So ito yung pinakauna kong uh, headset. And uh, medyo maganda naman yung uh, uh, audio niya. Kung uh, nanonood kayo ng live stream natin daily. Kung gusto niyo malaman ang kanyang uh, pangalan, ito siya. So I always tend to keep the boxes of my gears um, yung pangalan niya is um, Foxray Violent Gaming Headset so this is just a cheap gaming headset guys hindi, at, hindi yata siya umabot ng 1,000 pesos yung binili ko to so yung panimula ko <laughs> so ayun more than a year na medyo napakinabangan naman natin siya so that's why I decided na uh, maghanap na ng bagong uh, gaming headset na wala na rin siyang uh, function sa mic, RGB lights off and um, medyo kupas na yung ear tops niya lang natin. And I found this Red Dragon H510 Zeus headset. So, bago natin buksan ng tuluyan, gusto ko ipakita sa inyo yung box niya. So, this is the box. The package. Ayan. Nakita nyo. Ayan. So, bubuksan na natin. Mahulog. Diyos. you'll have the actual headset, manual and the sticker, the detachable microphone, 2 meter TRRS to USB cable and volume controller, 1.2 meter TRRS to TRRS cable, mic and headphone splitter, and a carry pouch. Before we go into the review, I just want to say that this headset resembles the HyperX Cloud headset. But I chose this one because the HyperX Cloud is a bit mainstream na na gaming headset. So I thought to go for the alternative para masubukan naman natin. So now we go into the specifications. So this is now your actual headset. So let's talk about its durability, mga ear cups, what it's made of, so on and so forth. So first of all, makikita niyo mapapansin niyo yung red na headband. Flexible yan guys, yan. So solid naman para sa akin yung durability niya, no. 
And this one, um, it's made of foam pala. So, comfy talaga siya pag sinuot mo. Um, also, sa taas, andito yung logo niya pa na Red Dragon. Ayan. Um, kung makikita mo, connected na yung microphone niya and connected na yun siya sa PC ko. So, ang um, exterior cuffs dito, this one is made of plastic. Kabilaan, made of plastic. And of course, let's not forget yung uh, indicator niya, left and uh, right. Nasa taas lang siya ng no? um, ear cuffs sa ilalim ng uh, headband. And then, um, kung makikita nyo, sa loob niya, meron din siyang logo, kabilaan. Yan. And then, of course, yung um, um, earphones niya mismo or headphones niya mismo, um, foam din. So, very comfy, walang pressure sa tenga mo. Um, hindi siya ganun ka, gaya ng ibang headphones na pag sinukot mo medyo napapressure ka. May pressure sa tenga mo na parang naiipit. Ito wala guys, very comfy talaga. And um, pinagtataka ko lang din no, sa Red Dragon na um, headphones na to. Wala siyang RGB. So, hindi to RGB guys. And um, sa lahat ng mga products ni Red Dragon, usually talaga may RGB siya. Pero eto, I don't know kung bakit din nila nilagyan ng uh, RGB. Sa so, weight, very light. Hindi hassle pag um, dinala mo siya outdoors. Hindi siya nakakadagdag masyado sa weight. Very light lang siya. Ang maganda dito, pwede siya gamitin with the USB connector diretso sa PC. May 3.5mm jack din siya, should you choose that kind of connection. And for console gamers, pwede siya gamitin sa PlayStation and Xbox. The audio profile of this gaming headset packs a 7.1 surround system, so I'd say okay talaga siya for gaming. In fact, nagamit ko na to sa live streaming natin and I can say it has better quality compared sa old gaming headset natin. With the noise isolation, kung malakas ang volume mo sa headset, pwede siyang marinig ng ibang tao kung medyo malapit sila sa'yo. Ayan, so from here, subukan natin na mag full volume sa headset na to. From here, maririnig nyo yung pinapakinggan ko na music, di ba? The microphone is detachable and is flexible. Sa ngayon, gamit ko ang microphone ng C922 Logitech web camera ko. Gamitin naman natin ngayon ang mic ng headset na to. And this is what it sounds. Ayan, so from here on, gagamitin natin ang microphone ng headset. Wala siyang static or um, any popping sound. Clear voice input which is very important pag uh, nagigaming ka. And for noise cancellation, maririnig mo yung uh, tunog ng keyboard. It's not that bad actually. Okay, so meron siyang uh, software which you can download sa Red Dragon website. Um, link below. So guys, yan. Hindi ibig sabihin na mainstream item siya, nasa spotlight siya, yun na yung pinakamagandang item. Maghanap-hanap tayo ng other options, lalo na kapag nakabudget tayo. Yung afford natin na syempre quality din. Thank you for watching and if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Kita kids!